Welcome back to Painting and Decorating. Monday morning, um, what a job this is. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, what I've been asked to do in this room is make it warmer. Um, there's some insulation going on the ceiling and there's some insulation going on some of the walls. Um, <laughs> like I said, let's have a look around because you're going to be shocked at this one. Colvin is going to be coming off because bits of the wall have been replastered and we've plastered, you know, over the edge of the coving, um, round the window. The plaster's just rotten half of it's falling off. And again, they've plastered over uh, the curtain rails and all sorts. So let's have a quick look around. I've got the usual stuff to do, like um, filling in the chasers after the electrician. Um, you can just see, well in fact I'll show you on that side there. You can just see it's been replastered. Um, yeah, not very good. So I'll show you up at the coal. You can see the the plaster has come right up to the coal. So literally there's nothing to when I put my insulation and uh, lining paper on. It's just going to be nothing there. So the coving has to come off and be replaced. There's just not enough edge and in places the plaster just comes over. You know. It's worse on the other side. Let's see what I've got to deal with. It's shocking. Sort of bits all like that. And just lumps on the ceiling. Have a look round the window. You can see the old vent. The um, that was for the coal fires. We always needed really good ventilation for those. So that's getting removed and that's getting filled in. Um, see the curtain rail there. Just plastered. I mean, look at that. Just plastered the nothing on the top. It's ridiculous. So I'll be ripping that off. Look at the the plastic's been put over the paper. There you go. Waste of time when people do stuff. Like that. It's not going to last, is it, if you don't get the paper off? I don't know. So, going down to the bottom, let's have a look at the bottom. Look at that. So, loose skirting board. It's just broke at the joint. Um, let's have a look. It's coming off anyway. Oh, we'll have a look after. A bit tough. So yeah, all that's coming off. I think they've boarded some of it. Um, and tap the window cell out. And replace that as well. Okay, where to start? I'm going to start by uh, taking the coving off.
I'm not sure actually how they've done this because the old plaster is still on there. So it looks like they've left the old coving on and whoever did the old coving actually stuck it over the paper. Um, so they've literally just chopped the plaster off to where the where you can see and then they've boarded it and plastered it. Um, massive gap up there. There's cold air coming in. So behind your coving, you can see you'd have cold air all the way. So that's why you get mould because loads of cold air coming in down there. So that'll all get foamed before the new coving goes back on. And then the insulation paper on top of that as well. Because there's been a bit of mould, you can see there. That's on the, uh, the actual plaster board. Not fitted proper. Right, so I'm going to carry on ripping this coving off and then start over near the window. Just show you where I'm up to. Um, it's coming off quite easy that coving. Um, on taking it off, a little bit of the plaster board has broke off, but underneath you can just see that it's actually polystyrene tiles. So the old ceiling was probably polystyrene tiles, and then they've fitted plasterboard over the top and then skimmed it. So I'm not going to have to put any insulation on that. Um, I'll give you a quick look round. Some big gaps still, but a bit of foam um, will be all right up there. Just repair the plasterboard patch up, level everything out, and then I can fit some new coving. Now. <laughs> Over there, in the corner, where I've just started, um, I took the vent off, and that was stuffed in the vent. Some old cloth and stuff like that. Yeah, it's nasty. Um, but what I wanted to show you is, it's just one of them jobs that keeps giving again. Let's have a look at that. So you've got Again, I think that's um, been boarded and then plaster, board, uh, plaster on. But I mean, just look at the curtain rail there. It's shocking, it's just been plastered in. But I've been taking the coving off across the top. Uh, and then I noticed the plaster a little bit loose. And I was going to take some of this off anyway, but then I've noticed somebody has plastered over our text. Look how powdery that is. You know what I mean? They've not even sealed it and then they've tried plastering on it. Um, and this is what happens when you don't seal things or do anything right. That's the back of the plasterboard. Just powder. I don't know. Well, anyway, that's coming off. So. Was that if I can? Right, hey, all good fun.
people just think, oh, stick some new stuff on there, that'll do, you'll be fine. <laughs> Let's just have a look what I'm actually taking off here. I mean, original plaster. Nothing wrong with it. And like I was on about, you've got the Artex. Look at the thickness of that now. The plaster to the window. They've built, they've built it out. And then look what they've done. They've put extra corners on. Uh, you're not going to believe this. I've already took, I've already took a corner off there. All right. So they've actually put a two. That's the original corner. So they've put a corner on, and then they've put another corner on. Uh, and on here, you can see that's where the plaster was up to. Um, so I've not even started at that bit there, but let's just have a look at it. There was two pieces of plastic on. I think there's uh, maybe one on that one. But uh, yeah, unbelievable. So, what's this? This is where it gets better. clear all this off and we'll have a quick look. Right, well my customer did have a feeling that wall might need uh, replacing, well the actual plaster needs replacing. Um, I've been going working over it and I actually agree with him now because um, there's that much loose at the bottom there. I mean I could have fixed it and just patch plastered that but then you think it's not worth it, it needs boarding out to make it even better. Wow. Um, what can I say? That's it for today. Um, I need to do some measuring up, get some more materials. That's uh, quite a good day's work, that, I say. Took the coving off and stuff. That skirting board's come off. It's one long length of skirting board, that. That's coming through the window. That didn't come in through the door. I was going to put it in the garage, but can't get it out of the room unless I saw it up so I might do that I might just leave it here anyway right let's have a look around this window oh so I'm gonna have to fix these floorboards um, I'm gonna clean all that out there's a joist needs fixing there <laughs> there's not much of that left at all so we need to do something with that make that sure that's safe Clean the rest out. So, bit of fixing around the window. You can see, I mean, quite a lot of it's been foamed, um, but there's a lot missing. And then across the top is quite bad. I'll get my steps and we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, again, bits of draft coming in, the foam's not fixed. That screws actually, you know. So we'll fix all this. Not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. Right, so let's get the steps and just have a look at the top there. All the brick is nice and solid. I mean even that joist isn't too bad there. That's just a little bit of dry rot. Um, but it's solid. That's nothing wrong with that. It's actually not supporting onto the window. Um, but that's the bit I wanted to show you here, this piece of plastic covering over the arch of the brick outside now. It's actually loose and the air is coming in there. So all that needs fixing back. Some insulation put in across there. 
and then I'm going to either put a frame on it and then put my board on with some insulation behind or I'm going to get some insulation board and glue it to the brick uh, I'm not sure which way I want to do it yet because really I want to create some nice corners so to create my nice corners I might actually put a bit of framework on here first um, and make it easy for myself okay that's the end of this video for today